Welcome back to Project Zomboid. We have returned to Shonda after a little vacation with uh, Agnes. Uh, and we are, So we are back in March Ridge again, but it's a different version of March Ridge. It's a less overrun, less uh, grown over version of March Ridge that has a beautiful backyard. Look at this. So between sessions, I finished up this backyard. So now we are much more secure back here. Uh, I used La Coalition's suggested method of boarding up the windows twice on both sides. So you can do four boards on one side, which uh, is effective at stopping zombies, but you can't see through the window anymore. And I wanted these windows here so that I could see through them. Uh, you can't put glass in windows that you make yourself, so th that won't slow down the zombies. So I needed to board them up uh, so zombies couldn't just come right through. Uh, but he suggested boarding them on one side and then on the other, just two boards so you can still see through them. So I did that over here. I did that over here, and I also spent some time around the front, boarding my side window, boarding my front windows. So every window that a zombie has easy access to is being boarded. Oh, you know what? Let's have a look at my generator here. Um, okay, it's still at 87% condition. So in my last episode with Agnes, we were reeling from the consequences of not maintaining our generator. So we're going to be checking on this generator so that if its condition gets low, uh, we can maintain it. So right now, it's been a little bit of a dry spell. Uh, you can see I've got a bunch of uh, water collection out there. Uh, and my character is getting hungry. But here's, here's Shonda's biggest problem right now. I've been doing a lot of things that were not scavenging for a while. And so I've still got some food left. You see, I've got, you know, a lot of this uh, ready-to-eat stuff. In fact, why don't I have some mushroom soup right now? Uh, open can of mushroom soup. But something that I learned with Agnes, like in Agnes's game, right, right now it's still August with Shonda. So, you know, it hasn't been that long. With Agnes's game, over time, she actually managed to lose enough weight that she was down at like 110 pounds, uh, and, and which was pretty emaciated for a Zomboid character. Um, Shonda has just barely crossed the line into underweight. And so I need to make sure that she is actually eating regularly uh, and eating enough to keep her weight up so that she doesn't start taking combat disadvantages from being underweight. So I'm actually going to eat two cans of soup this morning, getting ready for my day. So I'm nice and well-fed, Hopefully this arrow, this down arrow, will turn around and we're not going to be having big problems. But what I plan to do today is take Shonda out um, and start scavenging for food. Specifically, I'd like to scavenge someplace that's really dense so it doesn't, ha so it doesn't take a whole ton of scavenging uh, to, to, get, to get things done. And so I think what that might mean is going back to the very first place I tried to scavenge when I came to Muldrop. And that place is here. This apartment complex. So we have, we've mostly been spending time in small suburban houses, townhouses that are sort of separated from each other, and occasional large buildings, but they're things like a gym. It's really kind of empty and sparse. We have not really spent very much time inside the warrens of an apartment building. And one of the things that is, like, a, a challenge with State of Decay is we've always avoided putting large buildings into the game. Just because the interiors could end up being, you know... For the interiors in State of Decay are extremely expensive. Um, they've got a lot more art in them, and there's, you know, a lot more complicated pathing in there. And, and basically, uh, we try to avoid having as many interiors as we can. You'll notice that in, in downtown... Um, I almost said Muldra, uh, Downtown Marshall in Trumbull Valley, we had to thin out a lot of those buildings and fill them with plagues so that they would not have interiors. Um, okay, so I'm going to grab a lead pipe. Attach that sucker to my back. And then I want to keep my hammer. What else do I have in my backpack here? I don't know that I need to hold on to scissors right this second. I'll worry about the scissors later. I might want a hand torch. I've got a sheet rope in case I need to escape from my upper room. Um, and let me... I think there's probably... As long as I've got a... Do I have a can opener in my bag? I do. So as long as I have a can opener in my bag, I can probably scavenge from other people's houses. Let's, um, let's just have one more quick snack before we go. Oh, water bottle. I can probably replenish my water pretty easily too while I'm there. So I'm going to bring one spare water bottle... And do I have some 
Yeah, and then just a bunch of... Uh, I'll bring an orange soda. And some pop. And then a bunch of... Not cereal. Let's just bring a bunch of chips. There we go. Okay, so she's got some food. She's got some weapons. Uh, do I want to bring one backup weapon to... I mean, the thing is, I'm there to scavenge. I'm there to scavenge. i got to remember that. So I don't want to just fill up my bag. Um, actually, if anything, I should bring additional bags. That I can sort of pile up somewhere. I could just bring a bunch of garbage bags. I've been collecting garbage bags in here. You know what? Let's bring four garbage bags. So I can just pile up as much stuff as I want to in the bags and then easily cart them out to the car. Um, and then... Did I say that I wanted to bring a backup weapon? Do I have a back... What do I have in the back of this? I've got a wrench. I've got an axe. Okay. And... Oh, a bag for carrying food. Cool. Uh, so I've got a bunch of stuff here. So I think... I think we're all right. I'm sure we're fine. Everything's fine. So wait, so what's the right way to get to this apartment complex? All the way down the road. Oh, and it should just be... Oh, it's it's right here in that parking lot, of course. Okay, great. So basically, this is the... This is the Judge Dredd episode. <laughs> we're going to try to scale an apartment building full of hostiles. Man, look how different... This world is. So if you watched the last episode with Agnes coming here, I mean, Agnes came in the middle of winter. There was snow on the ground. The lighting was very different. Whoops, excuse me. Um, the lighting was very different. And the number of zombies was just over the top. How close am I? I'm getting right up to it. Okay. I forgot how much smaller than Muldra March Ridge is. Like, you can get anywhere in March Ridge pretty fast. Okay, so where is my entrance? I mean, I could just enter through a window. I think I'm going to originally enter through it. Like, I don't want to go through some main entrance in the middle. Because the, the middle seems like the dangerous place where, where I'm going to have zombies on all sides. I feel like what I need is to have zombies on one side. Yay, short blunt. So one thing that's interesting is there's this weird... So a lot of the weapons that you keep on your back are considered long weapons. Um, and a lot of the weapons you keep at your hip are short weapons. But there's the there's a few that are sort of in the middle. The lead pipe, for instance, is, is, an, is a really effective short blunt weapon that uses the short blunt skill, but you store it on your back like a crowbar or an axe. Oh, interesting. So, Coalition suggests that if I could set off a car alarm uh, or something, I could do one on the other side of the building so all the zombies cluster to the other side of the building rather than just sort of lying in wait for me. That does sound clever if I could make a car alarm happen, though I, I typically avoid those. And I'm not sure how to make one happen on purpose. All right. Destructor Bat says, wow, you're brave going in there. Well, it's it's more like ennui. Um, meaning that I got to the point, like, uh, you know, with both Agnes and, oh, and Shonda. Okay, dude, come on. <laughs> with both Agnes and Shonda, I got to the point where I built such a great base. I was actually feeling a little overconfident. Like, oh, what can threaten me now? And in Agnes's case, that solved itself because my generator suddenly exploded, damaged the base, and made me realize how, how vulnerable I really was. But with Shonda, and with Shonda, I was worried that I was going to have to just sort of make up something exciting to do. Luckily, with Shonda, the fact that I was running out of food kind of gave me a problem to solve, which is good. 
Because I think it is possible to get to the point where, ooh, rifle. It is possible to get to the point where you're like, yeah, I'm kind of self-sufficient. Now I just live here, <laughs> which is a different situation. Okay, so clearly zombies have figured out that I'm here. I'm hearing zombies banging on doors, so I don't know where they're banging on doors. I can just hear it all around me. This is really freaky, actually. Okay, so. We've unlocked that way out. Okay. Let's start with this apartment. Can we see any doors quivering? I don't think any of the doors in this apartment are quivering. I didn't scavenge in that other apartment yet because I'm uh, very much because I'm a little worried. I'm going to leave that screwdriver there because who cares? Um, I'm a. Oh, machete. Noise. Okay. So, this pipe is nice and all. <laughs> if we get into trouble, we're going machete mode. Okay, there's a gun case with no gun in it. But I can put a gun in it. And then leave it at the exit. So I'm going to put a gun in it. Okay. Wait, what? Did I put it in the wrong container? Okay. I don't know what doors... Are. I think it's probably doors upstairs are getting hammered on. Where did I... Okay, no, it is in there. Okay, I was just... For some reason, I didn't see it. Oh, I think I was looking in the wrong window. I was confused for a moment. I was just like, wait, where'd my freaking gun go? Oh, shoot! Woo! They, yeah, they are upstairs. All right. Oh, gosh. Yep, they're upstairs. And they figured out where I am. <laughs> Crap. Oh, that was almost Shonda's death. I thought I'd kill the one zombie that came down the stairs. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. This apartment that does not have a door is not a very secure place for me to be hanging out. So let's very quickly grab what food we can from here and then X this place out. Yeah, you know what? As much as I love compost, I'm not grabbing. I'm not grabbing a bunch of rotten. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. What the heck? Okay. Man, these tight spaces are just insane. How many zombies are up there? I was thinking I should probably go up the stairs and preemptively go kill the zombies up there before they come down, but I can't kill them that fast. I mean, like, they're, they're, or they're, rather, they're coming down so fast. That's not an option. They're just still coming. I'm just praying there's no zombies behind me. Because it's not like I can tell. That is one thing that doing those periodic, like, runaway moves that I do. One reason that's valuable, too, is because it, it, it lets me verify that there's no zombies behind me. Okay, I would be switching to my sh machete at this point. If I had a breath. If I had a chance to take a freaking breath. As 
far as I know, there's a zombie in this room over here. Okay, they're about to corner me. Nope. So the machete is good because it's really high, like, native damage that it does. Like, a, like it's the highest damage level that the UI can show. <gasps> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Anarchy Lad says, I would have bailed by now. I mean, I probably should have, if I were smart. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm all out of water. Let me drink some soda. And I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm losing weight. Let's drink this soda. Let's eat some tuna. And some chips. Let's get all ready for the next wave. Oh. Tendalense is saying I need to sit down and rest. Okay, yeah, totally. I'll sit on the ground. Get some rest. Oh. Okay, I've got two empty bottles now. I think I can refill those from the sink in here, though. Um, I'm going to keep snacking. <laughs> Coalition what? Oh, Coalition says that there are almost 20,000 points on a bet that I won't get a single injury. Okay, so, so far, so far that has been maintained by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Okay, you know what? I'm real tired. It's legitimately evening time. Um, I think I should sleep here. I mean, I definitely don't want to get into that kind of trouble again. Maybe as I'm just a little bit tired... I'll try to clear out a couple of nearby apartments. Okay, there's a can of beer. Working on that beer belly. Oh, what the? I forgot that this room didn't have a door. Oh, frickin'. Look at that. Look how less effective I am now. I am not sleeping here. They're all out there, too! All right. Screw this. <laughs> number of zombies in this place is just horrific. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, what am I doing? Oh, they're trying to come out of this door? I mean, do I... Do, do I... What do I do? What do I... You know what? We're going home. We're going home. I've got half an hour left before I actually need to, like, take a break from streaming. So I'm going to go home. We're going to let her rest in the safety of her own house. Then we're going to equip that machete, and we're coming back in there. Because there can't be an infinite number of zombies in that place. There has to be a limit. There has to be an end. 
if we play our cards right, we should be able to get those hallways clear. I could, after the, sh after the number of zombies I killed, to come out in the hall and find so many more zombies having just straggled out there. What in the world? Tandalizzi's like, narrator voice, there was an infinite number of zombies. <laughs> okay. Um, let's throw this beer can out here. Um, and then let's look in my bag because I've got a machete. Wait. Oh, its condition is terrible. Okay. This machete is... Is last resort. I should still use the lead pipe. Because the lead pipe... Tell me about yourself, lead pipe. The lead pipe... Not in the best condition either. Um, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, let's see. I feel like I should... See, a cr okay. A crowbar... Better than a lead pipe. Because even one with kind of a fairly low condition... Has got... Ten times the condition of practically anything else. So I'm going to keep... I'll keep the machete in my backpack, just in case. I'm going to stick the lead pipe in the back of the car. So I've got it available. In case I need to switch to it. But I think this crowbar is going to be better. Whew! I am bushed. Uh, so let's head up here. And then, actually, what do I have in the way of... Oh, you know what? While I'm waiting to go to bed, maybe something I should do is upgrade the protection of my clothes. I don't even have a leather jacket on. I have not been careful enough with Shonda. So let's wear this leather jacket over our simple denim shirt but under our cool foreman vest and then let's find some jackets that are not in the best condition let's rip them up and make some patches for ourselves and let's also Let's wear this denim shirt that's bloody uh, rather than this denim shirt that is damaged. So since I've got since I've got scissors in a nearby container, that allows me to rip leather and denim clothing, which you can't do by hand. But I'm ripping I'm gonna rip them up. I said rip all of them. Okay, fine. I guess we'll do them one at a time. Okay. And then can I clean these strips in the toilet? Yes. Or in the bathtub, I guess, is what I'm using. Okay. So now we've got denim and leather strips. So, and do we have... I assume we have thread. Yes, I've been keeping some thread. And we need a needle. So now I'm going to inspect my clothes and try to defend myself. If we've got this, we've got this bet about whether or not I'm going to take an injury so let's let's hedge this a little bit by wearing a leather jacket with 40 percent scratch protection then upping that a little bit to 42 percent by patching it up okay so apparently there's the bets are 5,000 that i will be injured and 19,300 channel points that I will make it intact. Well, we will definitely have to see, won't we? Okay, for some reason. Okay, so the right thigh. Okay, good. Leather jacket, all patched up. You can see it's covered with patches. Um, let's also patch up my shirt. And I can use leather strips on a denim shirt. In fact, I think I'll do that. Let's use denim strips. I mean, use leather strips. So when you run out of one spool of thread, it actually stops the... Oh, is it one? Oh, okay. I've, I think I've run out of thread. So that's that's as much as I can do. So I've got my torso maximally protected. Let's stick these 
the strips in here for later use. Let's stick our needle and thread. Put our needle away. So I can get more thread by ripping more zombie clothes. So we'll do that later. So right now, let's see here. What have I got? I got about 20 minutes before I need to be done. So let me double check. Make sure nothing weird's happening. Cool. All right. Yeah. So I've got 20 minutes. So we're going to make one more foray into that building. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to see how Shonda compares to Judge Dredd. Oh, good, it's raining. I mean, I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference, but, I mean, it's going to be darker outside. Probably harder to see. Let's, have, let's start the day with some peaches. So again, yeah, my, it, my weight is trending downwards, so I got to do something about that. Um, so I'm going to try to... What? I've still got some stuff in here. Okay, cool. Let's open a bolognese. And then let's bring a vegetable soup with us. I've still got that tuna. And there's going to be cans in the apartments. So I think with all of this, I'll eat half of this bolognese to get my stomach my stomach full. Oh, wait. Let's throw this tin can on the ground. Tin can on the ground. Bolognese in my pockets. Wait, why is my... Why is my inventory so... Oh, you know what? I, I'm just carrying way too much in this. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, I've got way too much stuff. Hold on. I've been scavenging like crazy, filling up my pack. I can get rid of a lot of these things. So, duct tape. I, I, didn't, I didn't even go upstairs. I didn't need the sheet rope. Um, this food is to keep me alive. But, you know, maybe I should just... I'm a little bit too anxious about the food. Um, I probably don't need to bring as much as I'm bringing. I can probably scavenge it. So let's just let's drop this stuff back off not bring all of this food with us. Honestly, it's probably... Yeah, and this water bottle, I will... I'll leave in the back of the car. And then the machete, I'll also leave in the back of the car. If I decide I need it, I'll bring it. But that should lower my weight enough. Okay, so I've got some food. I've got a flashlight in case I need it. Some garbage bags. I think I kind of like all the rest of this stuff. 10, 14, though. I feel like I'm just... Oh, you know, I mean, I'm carrying... I guess I'm wearing more clothes than before. Whatever. My coalition suggests that I should put up a sign that says, uh, read the chat before leaving the house. Okay. So it, it does look like, okay, the bets are going up that I will, uh, that I'll make it without injuries. Well, let's see. It's, it's a dismal day. Somehow this makes me feel less confident. I'm not sure why. I mean, I... I don't know if my view cone goes down when it's raining, when it's dim because it's raining, or if that only happens when it's, like, nighttime dim. Like, maybe they're bl maybe they're basing it on the lighting condition. Oh, look at that. They busted through the door. That actually kind of makes it easier. Yeah, I can't see very well at all. I'm hoping it's better inside. But I guess inside is kind of dependent on whatever the lighting is outside. Unfortunately, because I'm using a crowbar, I have to use that in both hands. 
so I can't carry a flashlight at the same time. Let's see what the lighting conditions are inside. Okay. Okay. They're a little better inside. <laughs> Let us into the party! Hey, why didn't I get an invitation? Where's the dude with the gun on his back? I swear there's a dude with a gun on his back. He probably followed me into the other room. Okay, so, I think my goal is to try to clean out the hallways of this wing. I think that's probably the most I could ask myself to do. Just with the time I have left. Yeah, so we could go all the way down there, too. Dang. Okay, they did follow me in. Hey, guys. All right. Yeah, come out and find me. I'm kind of impressed that they made it all the way into that room. I feel like I ran... No, 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 that's true. No, they, they, they were right behind me, and I closed the bedroom door. So usually, you got a little bit of safety from zombies when you're running. What they can do is trip you and make you fall on the ground, and then you're extra vulnerable on the ground. Rah! But usually a quick run will get you clear. Oh, they totally busted in here, too. I left this window open. Because of course I did. Was that person in there the whole time? Alright, let's fill my water bottle. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to comfortably scavenge in this place. Like, you know, I got snuck up on last time. I'm not going to be able to comfortably scavenge in here until... What the crap? Okay, standing delicately in a position where I can hit both of those zombies. Why are they trying to get in that door? What's so special about that door? I wonder, is there a TV on in there or something? But no, I mean... Okay, maybe there's a radio. Radios can be battery powered. Oh. Seriously, I want to know what this place looked like before I got here. Was it just wall to wall zombies in the hallways? So this guy, zombie's got a pretty cool spear through her. Um, the problem with a spear, and I haven't really used a spear in a crowded situation before, because I think it plants your feet when you use it. Like, with a crowbar, I can continuously be moving backwards like this, and I don't stop. But I think with the, um, with the spear... Uh, you stop whenever you use it. Which is great against one zombie, because you also do a lot of damage and often kill with one hit. But if there's another zombie behind them, I don't know if you can, like, interrupt your attack and run if you need to the way you can with a crowbar. Yeah, Coalition is saying, don't forget to get the weapons from the zombies. Oh, absolutely, yes. I am going to... I am going to grab that spear just... Not when there's a million zombies trying to kill me! Is 
So are the zombies like... Are they hearing the sounds of combat? Is that what's bringing them down here? Are they just hearing them through the floor? Okay, so... I'm definitely grabbing that spear. And we can try to use it in a sec. But only if I know I'm only fighting one zombie. So, okay. So I think... I'm going to run down here and just see what this floor is like. Okay, looks like we got the pool place. Zombies outside that might come in. So I want to be careful about that. We don't have any... curtains. So I think this hallway might actually be the first hallway I showed up in way back in the day. And I think I might have like I think I might have snuck into like this apartment or something. Got some butter in it. Yeah, all the doors are open. Yeah, this is the apartment I snuck into. I came in here. There were a bunch of zombies. I fought some of them and then ran away. And so I think that there's fewer zombies on this end because of my earlier fight with them. So now, here comes the really scary moment. Oh, I'm hungry. Here comes the really scary moment. I want to go up the stairs. But when you're going upstairs, you can't see what's directly above you. What the absolute crap? Okay. We're going to try a spear on this guy because he's coming at me alone. Okay, so if I do it, oh, if I do it while I'm moving, I do kind of a slashy move. Okay. So maybe this isn't as bad as I feared. There we go. Yeah, so my character stopped. To do that attack, my character stopped in her tracks. And that doesn't work for my crowd strategy. So, And the, the fact that it seems to be unpredictable whether I'll do that move or a slashy move makes me nervous. Come on, get around your friend. There we go. Because if I suddenly stop in my tracks... While I'm backing away from a crowd, that could get me killed. Nope. And that broke. Spears also don't last very long. Because uh, they're all handmade. So, um, Coalition is telling me... So, I didn't actually notice. He says that there was a zombie with a katana sticking out of its chest. I knew there was a zombie with a... With, like, a... A rifle on its back. Can you give me directions to where that zombie died? Okay, he says near the rifle zombie. I also also forgot where the rifle zombie was. Um, there's a bunch of keys on these zombies. I don't know what good they are, but whatever. I'm keeping them. Um... I mean, we're literally never running out of zombies. <laughs> okay, so this is in the hallway crossing. Oh, okay, okay, here's the shotgun zombie. Which I will want to collect that shotgun at some point. I don't see... I don't see a sword through a zombie anywhere. I do see that zombie coming down the hallway. Let me look a little bit more. I'm gonna click on all the zombie corpses. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing a lot of stuff. And I did grab the spear that was through a zombie. Okay, Coalition says it's on the other direction from the hallway, from the uh, shotgun. So, okay, I'll keep looking. Is it visible on the actual model of the zombie? Can I see it on the ground? Why are there still more zombies? And why do they know where I am? Why are they coming down here? What is going on? 
My character's getting tired already. What do I mean already? It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been doing this all morning. Ugh. Oh, there's a lighter. Lighters are cool. So Kolosu says, never mind. Oh, there's a kitchen knife through one of them. I mean, maybe it looked like a katana. Things look a little bit larger on character models than they actually are. So maybe we saw just saw a kitchen knife through one or something. I don't know. Letter opener. Freaking more zombies. I'm running out of time. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's... Can we actually get through this door? Yeah, we can get through it. The zombies can't, but we can. Are there zombies in here? I can hear a zombie trying to get out of a door. But it must be upstairs. Okay. Let's take a quick nap. I've, I've got five minutes, but I want to do one thing before we go. And I want to do it uh, uh, awake. So let's... Okay, oh, we can drop this spear. And let's set our alarm. Let's set our alarm for... 16 o'clock. Let's sleep. So we'll just sleep for an hour. Wait, what? Did I just get... Did I just get woken up by thunder? I think I just got woken up by thunder. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Either that or maybe there's a zombie knocking at my door. There absolutely is a zombie knocking at my door. Oh, shoot! Whoa! There were zombies knocking at my door. Okay. All I want to do... I just want to see what the second floor looks like. And I guess I won't be able to do it... Fully awake... So I'm gonna have to do it do it tired. We'll do it tired! So the thing that I'm worried about is the moment of cresting the top of the stairs. Because if a zombie is starting to come down at the same time I'm coming up, I might it, it might be too late before I see it. I can hear one. Yes, right there. Oh, if I had timed that slightly differently. Okay, they are coming down from the upper story. Yeah. What? And they're... Wait, how did that one come from... Downstairs! I was just there! No! Shoot. All right. It, it's not... At least the floor isn't as bloody here as it was downstairs. Holy frack. Okay, you know what? I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I'm too tired for this nonsense. Um, okay, I need a room. I need a bedroom that I can close the door to, and it means I need to... Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do not trip me up, zombies. Do not trip me up. Oh, gosh. No. No. Stop it. This is not a bedroom. Okay. Open window. 
I don't have a nail. Oh, crap. I brought an escape ladder, but I didn't bring a nail for it. You need a, you need a nail to attach it. Okay, but... Oh! <laughs> nope, not up, not up, down. Okay, next time... Next time I'm bringing a nail for my escape rope. Absolutely. And... Uh, 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 <laughs> I am accomplishing nothing. <laughs> like, I'm fighting zombies all day and I'm not leaving home with any more food than I had when I went. I'm just... I mean, I got, I've got some butter now. I've got some butter. That's all I've got out of this. A little bit of butter. Okay. Okay. Oh, what what is up with this? This is just <laughs> This was a terrible plan. <laughs> I just I'm exhausted. Anything can kill me at this point. <laughs> it is amazing. It is amazing that I lived. Let's just double check my character here. I am injury free. We made it. We survived. We are underweight, but we survived. Oh, I'm gonna eat the crap out of some tuna right now. I'm just, oh, I can murder some tuna. Oh. Anarchy Lad says, looks like butter's, uh, butter's back on the menu, boys. Exactly. Okay. So, I need to go. I've got a meeting. But, <laughs> thank you all for coming with me on this journey. Um, like Judge Dredd, we actually did survive uh, the, the trip up that uh, ridiculous tower. Mitty Chad says, I'm very disappointed with these zombies and their lack of conviction. I'm sorry to anyone who lost the bet, but I'm glad that Shonda has stayed alive. Now, the question is, so if I had successfully stranded myself in a room, I would have done a cliffhanger where, where the question was, next episode, am I going to get out? But I could not escape the zombies. Like, they knew where I was. And I don't... And yeah, so I was under such pressure. I had to get... The only way that Shonda had any hope of surviving was if I just got the heck out of there. So I did. So it's less of a cliffhanger now, but... I mean, eventually Nick's got to run out of zombies, right? If I keep doing this, eventually it will be cleared out and I can get all the food from all the cabinets. Right? Right? If you want to find out, you can subscribe to my channel and you can watch my next video, which I will make later because I have to go to a meeting now. Goodbye.